say yes to Hunter. Which is what- What was that? <laughs> what was that? I'm gonna make a hurry. I said, honey. It come through, Becky. Ain't no Becky here, boo. <laughs> Who's this? <laughs> this is Sarja. You are love. Hey boos, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kendra Nicole here. If you're new, please be sure to like, subscribe, comment down below in the comment section and share. And if you're returning, it's always nice to see you guys. So in this video, regardless of the title and how long it took me, because this was originally filmed on April 9th and 10th um, of me doing my little sister's hair for a trip that she had coming up. I also want to be going over the importance of you know taking care of the person's hair that you're doing whether it's using doing a style in their natural hair or if you're going to be adding extensions to their hair um how to take care of it and make sure that it's well taken care of before doing a, any type of style on anyone's hair it doesn't matter the texture um it's very important to the health and longevity and strength of the person's hair so simply um i don't know why i told her to come with her hair blow dry um, it is easier when the hair is blow dry when you braid it, but as you saw, I spritz it up with some water and then I'm going in with some cream of nature uh, to just moisturize the hair, which will then result in her hair shrinking. So sis, I'm so sorry that I made you go through all that trouble knowing that, you know, we're the same when we don't really like applying heat to our hair. I got you though. Um, afterwards, what I'll be doing is just sectioning out her hair and for each part, each braid, you guys will see... I really took my time making sure that each braid I did the same method which was applying some hair grease I used the blue magic Indian hemp grease and then going in with some almond oil you can use what whether whatever grease you like to use or whatever the client brings or whatever oil that you like to use or whatever oil the client brings and again this is just important to make sure that the person's hair um, in that style you know just remains healthy as possible as we know like our type of hair we lack moisture we lack um, oil so that's why we always have to oil our hair opposed to other hair textures so this is why it's really important to do that and then afterwards the person you know rocking that hairstyle they will continue taking care of their hair in between you know and all of that good stuff so I'm just using the back of my sister's hair as kind of like a guide to make the first row of braids that I'll be doing. I did realize later on that they were parted quite bigger than the rest of her parts um, that I'll be doing on her head. But because it was like in the back, like it would have been noticeable and the braids itself blended in nicely because it was, it was the same size as the rest um, that would be installed on her hair. Another thing that I wanted to try out as well was um, Shine Jam, which you guys, it is the truth. You guys will always hear me talking about this. And I don't think I'll be using anything else ever. When I tell you it helped with cleaning the parts, each part that I will be doing, you guys will see. And it also gives no flakes. Huh. Hail Mary. That's all I'm going to say. Hail Mary. And I'm so happy that she gave me, you know, the opportunity to try this out on her because this is something that I've been, like, I see so many pictures online of, like, just, like, the finessers of braiding and parting and how clean and clear, like, there's not one strand out of place, nothing type of, oof, crispiness. I was so happy to demonstrate that and try it out for myself and see if I can, you know, master that just as the next person. So normally you can, you would use like a rat tail comb, which I do use in parts of this video, but I also found this like medium size, tightly closed teeth comb. I don't know how to explain it, but y'all can see what I'm, you know, y'all can see and try to like put together what I'm trying to say here. And I really find that this really worked in cleaning the parts really well. And maybe because I've become such a hair perfectionist and there were so many things that I had to do to make sure that every strand was well nourished, every part was well cleaned. I do kind of believe that that aided or that, you know, made the process much longer Besides the fact that I'm also a very slow braider, which I'm trying to learn tricks and tips on how to make that 
movement go fast for me. Um, what I would probably need is like, you know, what is it called? I had the name on the other day online. I looked it up on Amazon, but it's basically like the, the rack holder that you'd put, um, your thread if you're like a, a seamstress or someone. Um, but you can also use that same, uh, tool for like, you know, when you, um, what's that thing called? Like to hold your braids, like when you, uh, single them out. Even though my sister, she did help me with single and mouth. She did a great job. You did a great job, girl. Don't worry. Um, I just think that that might probably aid me with moving faster. Um, but besides that, you know, I'm glad that she had the patience. Um, I'm glad that I also had the patience. This taught me a lot about, you know, just having patience and taking your time and really putting love into it. And yeah, because I'm telling you, if you guys had came at me a few years back, I would have rushed through this. Like, I would have took, it would have been nice at first, but then I would have rushed through it at, at a given time because I'd been like, okay, like, I'm over this. Like, I want your head, like, removed from under my eyes. Like, just get out of my seat, move. And I would have just given up at the wrong time, you know? But this process, this me taking my time, it just really showed me like I'm really capable of really doing the damn thing and I'm just so proud and so happy that she loved the way it came out I'm really happy with myself and very impressed with myself doing this the knotless style I should say for the first time and it coming out pretty amazing um yeah so if you guys if right now you're someone that I used to be back then with being impatient when it came to doing someone's hair and just getting like fed up, I would really say just work on that, pray on it, do what you got to do on it, and take your time, because when you take your time, and you really put your all into something, you put love into something, and you know like the person will be happy with it, and you know that um, you're doing what's right for them and their hair, trust me, and it comes out great, trust me, you're going to be so happy with yourself in the end. So here, I start braiding her hair, and I do about two to three um, braids with her actual hair before I add in the extensions to give it the knotless look. And we kind of mix colors together. And um, yeah, I also show you guys like how to loop it around your fingers to add it to, like every time you have to feed it in, like an easy way to do it, which I've also learned from watching a YouTube video. And that really helps a lot where the braid comes out more uniform and clean and you don't see like okay, this is where that um, feeding was fed into, if you guys get what I'm trying to say. Like, you don't see that misuniformity. Also, excuse me that my elbow is just, like, in the way of the braiding pattern. I will have scenes where you can see more visually and more clearly. I just wanted to keep this clip in because it is the first braid, and me, when I watch videos, like, I want to see from the beginning. I don't want to see in between, so... This is why I still left it in. And let me just add that it helps a lot when you add some of the shine jam as you're braiding going down the braid. So that helps with smoothing out her natural hair or the person's natural hair um, with the braiding hair. So you don't see like the difference in hair texture. And it's, it's, it's very important, especially at the ends, like when you use the end of the person's hair, that you apply that. So it kind of like, it kind of sticks it together. It kind of gives it like, um, a, it makes it into like a texture where it's, it makes it just easier to be able to tuck it in. And you don't see like her, the, the person's like curls at the end of the braid. Like, okay, yeah, this is where sis's hair stops that. Like, Leave that scene for like when the hair is actually getting old and coming out for itself, not when it's like freshly done. Who pays for that? No one. Also, the way I added the hair, um, because I, I she did want it like kind of like waist length, bum length, like right above the bum. So the way I added the hair in, I would say like I would do like I would braid like I'll start off the braid with like three, let's say three braids of her actual hair. Then I will start feeding it in. Um, and then I would just continue feeding it in until I reach like the length that she would want. Um, and I also check with her if the size was okay for her. Um, even in the end, I did ask her like, hey, like, does it feel too tight? You know, and she was just like, no, like, it's very light on her hair. Even while I was braiding her hair, I was like, am I gripping too tight? And once again, she let me know like, 
everything was, you know, well done, no headaches, not feeling, her hair did not, her head did not feel heavy, and then it didn't feel tight as well, and it was the perfect length, as you guys will see in the end. So with all these tips and tricks, tricks which I'm sure you guys already know of or if it's your first time hearing these things I hope that it does help you if you're going to try this out on yourself or on someone else just make sure that the person is comfortable make sure that um, it's not hurting them make sure it's the size that they want make sure that you are really the most important thing I want you guys to leave here with is just make sure that the person's hair is well moisturized before installing any extensions or doing any hairstyle um, on their hair that's very crucial as well as patience because it all goes hand in hand with the results at the end of how the style will come out and don't worry about like the white residue that you will see at the top of the braid honestly like it disappears with one touch and it doesn't return like I said this took us two days to do so she obviously left with her hair like mostly done which had the shine jam and when she came the next day there was no flaking or anything this is why I highly swear by the shine jam and yeah I think lastly what I also want to add is that it's like the reason why it's also so smooth like braiding her hair is the fact that I moisturized her hair before um, there's there was one time I went somewhere and before applying the braid to my hair or moisturizing my hair they just combed through my dry head and that was so painful so Again, please just really take the time and the patience to take care of the person's hair before you style it.
from Nicaragua if I choose Persian love I'll be turning up, oh, I'll be wasting time Girl, don't waste my time, no Because I just like the look, look out, look out. Materials all the hair, all the services she getting. All right, keep north, Ooh, keep north. Okay. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. 
Yeah. You're just like staring at mm -hmm. How close are you gonna get? <laughs> I'm gonna up in there. Wait, 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 wait back away a little bit. Boom, bam. All right. Look at these eyes. Model, model. Oh, shit. Giving chinky, giving chinky. Yes. <laughs> You just trying to get cancelled? <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, <laughs> yo, like, listen, y'all better not come here with this, like, sensitive ass shit, because that's a freaking compliment, okay? <laughs>
so weird. <laughs> I hope they can hear you. <laughs> what was that? What was that? I don't think they could hear you. I said, honey. 